astronaut operations and robotic activities can eject micron sized charged dust particles off the lunar surface one of the most important problems on the moon reported by apollo astronauts is sticking of dust to their space suits even after extravehicular activity producing malfunction of devices degradation of thermal coatings and solar panels so the understanding of this mobilization and the mechanical properties of the lunar dust will be of great engineering importance for devising dust mitigation strategies and long duration stays for future lunar and asteroid expedition missions our mission objective will be to study the physical and dynamical characteristics of a very short lived lunar dust that rises due to the lunar lander impact we are building one instrument which is basically an electrostatic dust sensor known as instrument for lunar dust analysis ILDA for the detection and trajectory measurement of slow moving dust particles from the lunar surface we are going to find out the parameters such as charge mass velocity trajectory and local dust accumulation rate for every individual micron sized dust particle ILDA is based on a dust trajectory sensor DDS consisting of an array of wire electrodes to measure the charge and velocity vector of the dust particle passing through the instrument LDA consisting of two such DTS units and the high electric field region known as deflection field region in between them which is it will bend the particle's trajectory. The trajectory will be measured before and after the electrostatic reflection in order to determine the particle's mass, charge, charge sensitive amplifier CSA which are connected to every individual wire electrode can measure the charge on micron sized dust particles. After the analysis of those signals we can yield the trajectory information. There will be also a local dust accumulation rate reader as the second stage of our instrument. The third and final stage will be the electronics and computer module. The entire instrument will be covered with a Faraday gauge for avoiding the external noise due to space environment. After building a prototype model, the instrument will undergo a number of lab tests for calibration and parameter estimation. Along with this, numerical analysis as well as simulation will be done so that we can validate our lab test data with the simulation results. But why should our instrument go to the moon? If we peek into the past from the Apollo era following the Luna and Sangye missions up to the most recent Lander mission. They all have returned the dust sensor data back to us for scientific study. Again, designing such an instrument with minimum weight penalty has been seen as a major challenge in the past mission. The least weighing dust sensor Till now was the 730 gram Mars dust counter, which was used in Nozomi mission. Our project is designed with such goals that it can help to better understand the lunar dust's physical and dynamical properties, as well as the rate of dust accumulation on a localized area for a period of time, which will help the engineering scientific community for developing new generation dust hazard mitigation techniques for the future missions to moon, mars, mars asteroids, asteroids and beyond. And I was dreaming, always dreaming. It was an easy time to dream. When you turn on your television set and men are landing on the moon, anything is possible. And we should never lose that spirit. If you don't achieve your dreams, you can still get a lot by trying for it. There's an expression I love, experience is what you get.